Joe, we want to thank you once again for your time. Thanks, Kenny. And, and Flash, how are you? I'm great. Great. So we, we've talked about a number of subjects this spring, but we have yet to hit on the, the instant replay. Right. And I know the Yankees have not been involved in any one of those games, yet, but it is coming, isn't it? Well, March 6th is our first date. Uh, it's a game in Philly, and, uh, you know, we'll try to do the best we can. It's not quite set up like it is going to be set up during the course of the season with all the camera angles and the phones in the dugout. But uh, we'll use walkie-talkies and put people in front of TVs and, and, and try to work on it. Is there any uh, sort of strategy you might use uh, as far as when you would use a challenge? At what time of the game you would use it well I think you have to be pretty sure that you're right when you use your challenge because you don't want to lose it early and then the play comes up and uh, you kind of wish you had it so I think you got to be pretty sure that you have it and with all the camera angles I, I think you know, they're going to see what we see and they're going to make a decision and your people just have to be honest line drive the short and Ryan has this one he's been busy yes he has yeah. and, uh, he's he's been very good too yes he has you know, Joe, getting back to the instant replay, are you concerned at all about the amount of time that is going to take? I know there was a lot of conversation about yesterday in Dunedin took a little while, two and a half minutes, I think. Do you expect that to be a little tighter? Yeah, right? I expect it to speed up a little bit. And I think with the different camera angles and, you know, when you have all the cameras in the ballparks, it'll be quicker. And, uh, you know, because they're basically getting the maybe one or two angles that uh, we're getting right now. I mean, that's basically what they're getting. And in New York but I think as we do it more it will speed up and, and I think it's going to be good for the game. Now we should mention a new pitcher in the ball game is Chris LaRue he's doing the pitching. Let's look at uh, tonight's pitcher David Phelps so what would you think of uh, his outing. You know he, he really had to get himself out of some jams I mean he was in trouble every inning and uh, he got some important ground balls some double plays some important strikeouts and you know, that's good to see in spring training, too, because it's not always going to be easy, and you have to have that ability to get out of some jams. Ground ball to second, and first time tonight that the Yankees have retired David Lowe. He's out number two here in the fifth inning to bring up Jamal Weeks. You know, Joe, getting back to Phelps, I was talking about him when he started this game. You know, you look at all his pitches, and they would probably grade out to be average. But that kid competes, and I yes. think that's what we saw tonight. And, and he locates, too, and and that's what helped him and he can throw any pitch at any time he can change speeds he can sink his fastball he can cut it. he's got the curveball and slider and change up and just his ability to pitch and read swings really helps him out what have you thought of the pitching in general looks like it's gonna be a quick inning uh, I'm gonna knock on some wood but it's been really good <laughs> yes it has it's just, just like LaRue was this yeah. inning a one two three thanks Joe thanks for being guys, with Joe. us All right, bye bye